What's up guys? Today I'm going to talk about the welding hoods that I have used in the past and the one I use currently. I want to start out with what I what I used when I first started welding in Votech. I used a hood similar to this with just a black flip hood, 4x4 lens. Used that on up till it was a fixed lens, it wasn't auto darkening. I used that on up till uh, all the way through the three years I worked at that shop right out of high school. And I bought this while I worked at that shop. I think I bought this because my brother was a pipeline welder and he he had one. He didn't really use it a lot, but he did have one, so I knew of him because of that reason. And uh, I just wanted to try it, I guess. I don't know, you know. A uh, slang term for this is a sugar scoop. Older guys still use this hood out on the pipeline, actually. Um, a lot of guys in the oil and gas industry use it because like in plant work they require you to wear a hard hat underneath your welding hood and this connects to a certain hard hat you can put a hard hat underneath this hood so it's real handy for that such thing you know you know now that i think of it i think the reason i bought this one of the reasons was because uh the place i worked at sold auto darkening lenses but they were two by four lenses so I had to have this hood to have an auto darkening lens. So I think that's part of the reason that I bought it. But good one to have either way. Then I got a pancake hood when I first started pipelining. The pancake hood I first started using was a Sarge's. That's the brand. A lot of welding supplies throughout the country sell Sarge's for whatever reason. They're, they're an all right hood. They're a good fair hood to get. Um, they're just a little bit heavier than the ones I use now. That's the only reason I don't I don't use them, but good price, good one to start out with. After the Sarge's, I got a Wendy's pancake. A Wendy's pancake is even heavier than the Sarge's, but it's durable. That's a lot of the reason I got it was because it's heavy duty and I wanted it to last, you know. And I did use it. I think I bought two of those hoods in a couple years time, uh, just because. I think maybe I wanted, I think I had a black one when I first, yeah, I think I had a black one when I first used it and then I got a white one. So I didn't wear the other one out, but I just, I bought, I mean, I, I liked them. They were heavy duty, but uh, when my buddy introduced me to Steve Fenton hood, I couldn't believe I ever wore a Wendy's because it was so heavy. So that's what I use now is a Steve Fenton hood. Uh, a guy used to make these. He's from Odessa, Texas. I don't believe he makes them anymore. There's rumor that they're gonna make them again. Family member or something's gonna make them again, but I don't I don't know that yet. Once I find out, we will let you guys know. Till then I've been using a or I we have tried this. I haven't got to use it much, but it's an Empire South hood. Uh, fellow welder, I don't know him personally, but he's a welder. He makes these. They're real comparable to this Steve Fenton. They're lightweight, small smaller in diameter. Uh, I mean, real similar to this as far as the weight and whatnot. So I'm currently trying that one. I'll do a further review of that one, a more in-depth review of that Empire South once I use it more and uh, just whenever I can talk about it by itself and uh, in another video. So be looking forward to that. But like I said, I use this uh, Steve Fenton. I've had it, I've used it for like three years, I think. And uh, Still going strong. Main reason though, like I said, I like it's because it's lightweight. I say it a lot, but it's because comfortability is the key to welding. So lightweight, when this thing's got to be on top of your head, it sits up there, it, it can cause you to have a headache, you know, or if you don't have it sanded to your face just right, it can it can cause you to have a headache. But the but the lightweight is huge, huge deal, huge, huge deal. And uh, so that's why I like it. It's the main reason I like it, because it's smaller and it's lightweight. Another good feature this hood has is the brass screws. It's got brass screws on the front of it here. And that way that splatter comes off a lot easier. It'll still get on there. I got some on here right now, but it just comes off of the brass. It don't it don't stick to the brass like it does on the on metal screws, you know. So it's another good thing. These uh, straps this is not the strap. The strap that comes with these hoods 
a little bit narrower, like a one inch or inch and a quarter strap. I've always liked these two inch straps. I don't know, for whatever reason, it just stays on my head better. And uh, I've got several, I've got blue, orange, this pink one. Uh, I've got different kinds. It's always good to have a spare, so I try to have an extra one laying around. Um, PL Welder is where I got the strap. They've got all different, they've got camo, American flag, they've got all kinds of different ones on a PL Welder, so. But anyway, that's that's that. And another thing I wanted to mention while I was talking about welding hoods was these Tom Water glasses that I wore in another video. These glasses are good for people that need glasses. I don't need glasses. The only reason I got these was I was on a job where the safety was a little more strict and they required us to wear safety glasses underneath our pancake. Like every time we had our pancake up, we had to have safety glasses on. And your pancake comes up and down quite a bit when you're making a weld. So I purchased these uh, for that reason. That's the only reason I bought them. I do not need them. One day I'm sure I might need a prescription, but uh, a lot of you guys might need prescription glasses and it's a real good, I wanted to mention them because it's gonna help you guys if you need glasses that fit underneath the pancake. Tom Waters is the way to go. They, they're they thin, so like when your pancake, when it's underneath your pancake, you can't, it's not gonna affect your pancake the way it fits, is what I'm saying. It's what these, I'm pretty sure that's what they were made for. Uh, I don't know that for certain, but I do know that they work real good underneath the pancake hood. So, uh, they got different shades. They got ones that are just a circle, not they got these flat spots in them and they got different sizes so all kinds of different options he offers but you guys can go check them out if you need prescription glasses to wear underneath your pancake that's those tom waters so make sure i'm not forgetting anything i think that's gonna be it for this video um i hope that helps you guys with choosing for deciding on what hood you're going to purchase next. Um, be looking forward to that review on the Empire South hood. I'm excited to share more about it in another video. Go check out my apparel video. If you guys are wondering, those of you that are might maybe new to the channel or whatever, go check out what uh, welding caps I use, the ones I've tried in the past, uh, pants that I've, that I've used and welding shirts is a big one I talk about. In that video so go check that out if you guys are interested like this video if it was helpful share it if it was helpful to help other people out and uh, thank you guys so much for watching you guys have an awesome friday thanks